Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. I am sorry that we're not all together in the building, but we will be together very soon. And we cannot wait to have your children and family back with us at Holland Avenue Preschool. Just know before I start, I'm going to send you all of the information that I'm going to share today. So if you miss something or if you have a question, um, you will be able to reach back out to me and I will answer any question you have and you will have all of this information in writing. Which leads me to my first thing that I really need every family to do. Before you go to bed tonight, please go to our hollandavenue.com website. You can scroll to the bottom. There is a white box at the bottom. Please enter your email and subscribe to Holland Avenue Parents or Preschool Parent Updates. This will allow me to send you updates throughout the year. This will allow me to send you the PowerPoint. This will allow me to communicate and your teachers to communicate. So if you would please do that, and I will also send that reminder in the Remind app. If you are not getting text updates from the Remind app, please call our office. Um, you can call the main office at 794-9133, and it will connect you to um, my office. Um, and we will get that taken care of. That is how we are communicating right now, is through the email update, I'm sorry, through the text updates. And then we will add the email updates. We are probably going to over communicate this year, and I hope we do. I hope that you get so much information repeatedly um, that it almost drives you crazy because we are just going to do our very best to keep you informed um, during these unique days. Um, so if you could please subscribe and make sure you're getting the remind text, that would be great. We need everyone, every single child, to send a new immunization. You can fax those to 794-2935 or after you subscribe and I send an email, you can just email that back to me. My email, if you need it, is lindsay, L-I-N-D-S-A-Y, at Holland Avenue. Lindsay at hollandavenue.com. All right, let's get started. Um, this afternoon is so odd not having everybody in here, but we are going to make the best of it. All right, I probably do not have to tell you this date. You already know the first day of school, but it is Tuesday, September 8th. Um, for all the children that come on Tuesdays. And if you're a Monday, Wednesday, Friday student, your first day will be on Wednesday, September 9th. Now, because of the unique days and the unique times, we are gonna have staggered drop-off because what we want is for you to be able to come in the building on your little one's first day to drop them off. So on the first day and only the first day that your child attends preschool, wearing a mask, you may bring your child in and drop them off at your classroom. Your teacher will be sending you a text and it will be a staggered drop off much like our meet the teacher. So we'll have a nine o'clock group, a nine ten group, and a nine twenty group and we'll be able to get everybody in um, that way safely um, and then get our first day started. Um, Parents, you um, unfortunately are not able to drop off in the classroom after the first day um, until further notice. I'm gonna say that a lot today, until further notice. We're gonna start with some pretty strict guidelines and as conditions improve, then we will be able to loosen them. Um, but for now, um, to be able to safely reopen in accordance with CDC and DHEC and those things, um, we really have to limit adults in the building. So other than the first day, um, parents, you will not be able to enter, but we're going to talk about how we're going to get all of your sweet children in and out safely. All right, um, so we're going to start with some health things, go through a couple of items, and then I'm going to come back to kind of what everybody wants to know is what is our COVID precautions and guidelines. But as always, please do not send your child if he or she is sick, vomiting, fever, diarrhea, um, anything that is unusual, congested eyes, non-clear mucus, all of those things. Um, please do not send them to school. Um, they need to be fever or diarrhea free for 48 hours without medication before returning to school. 
um, if your child is sent home from school with a fever, you have to go to the doctor. Um, and you need a doctor's excuse to come back. And this is until further notice. I understand sometimes as moms, um, we think, oh, it's just this or oh, it's just that. And you know what? You might be right. But because of everything going on right now, we need to make sure 100% um, that it is safe for them to come back. So if your child is sent home from school with a fever, you will have to have a doctor's excuse clearing them to, before they're allowed to come back to school. Um, during our regular flu season, we kindly ask if any, if your child um, is in a home where there is a case of the flu, if you would keep them home for 48 hours to make sure they are clear before sending them back to school. Um, clothing. Please send your children in play clothes. Um, we know you have lots of cute outfits. We love all the cute outfits. Just know that we play a lot, we get messy, we paint, um, we play in the dirt, all those things. So if it's your most favorite outfit, you might want to save it. Um, or if you're okay with it getting dirty, then you are welcome to send it. But just make sure that it's um, friendly if they're using the potty, diaper changes, all those things. Um, play clothes are always best. And we would ask that you send a change of clothes to school with them um, so that we can change them. Um, accidents happen all the time. So we will want to keep a change of clothes here. You can put it in a Ziploc bag with their name on it, and we will keep it here in the classroom, and we'll remind you when the weather changes um, to send warmer clothes um, for them to have as extra here at school. Snack time is our favorite time. We will provide snack every day, and we provide water as well. Um, you can send a cup for the one-year-olds or the... Um, or under if they're in the baby room and using a cup, whatever you want them to use. And we provide cups for ages two and up. So you don't need to send anything. If your child has a dietary need or something special, you're welcome to send their own snack with them. Um, we provide just traditional snacks, goldfish and Cheez-Its and vanilla wafers, um, all the super yummy, fun snacks that kids love. Um, so we do provide that, that's included. Um, in your registration fee, um, but if you want your child to have something different, you are welcome to send that. Special drinks and snacks are offered um, this year until further notice. Um, we can't allow anything to be sent from home for the class. So holidays, um, things like that, we will be providing all of that, um, but hopefully things will improve and we will be able to have um, extra fun parties and food from outside and all those kinds of things. But for now, we'll do everything in-house. If your child is potty training, um, ages three through five are um, required to be potty trained um, in those classrooms. Um, the children can go to the bathroom anytime during the morning. Um, if you can, make sure they can go before you come to school. They can go anytime during the day. And we also have class times that the entire class goes. We will have extra helpers on the preschool hall to help clean the bathrooms between classes and between children. So we will do our very best to um, keep our potties very clean um, and again of course please send changes of clothes um, if you have one that is potty training at home make sure to let their teacher know and we will help them at school however you're doing it at home we um, want to help them here as well so keep us informed on those things and we will um, hopefully have lots of two-year-olds potty trained by the end of the year Tuition. Tuition is going to be due by the first of the month. Um, we are encouraging you to pay online. It's super simple. You can go to hollandavenue.com. You click on the word donate, and there is a place um, that you click in the drop box to pay preschool tuition. We will be sending a memo home when tuition is due, um, and you can pay online. If you prefer to pay in person, um, we will have drop boxes at the front preschool door and also in the car line that you may drop um, your payment in. Um, but we really would appreciate if you would handle that online, if at all possible. Um, there is a late fee um, of $15 um, if tuition is late. In order for your child to stay enrolled, um, we do need you to pay your tuition, please. Um, and tuition is the same every month. So we take the total year and we divide it by nine equal payments. 
So in December, when we're out for Christmas break, you pay the same as in October when we're here the whole time, but it's just to keep record keeping simple. All right, um, so drop off. We're gonna talk about this at length a little bit. Um, for drop off, our doors will open at 8.55. Um, so if you have a child, an infant, the ones or the twos, um, you are gonna drop off like always at the front preschool door, but we will have teachers and assistants coming to you and we will receive your child at the front door and take them to their class. You will not come into the front door. We ask that as you're on the sidewalk that you would keep a safe social distance. Um, and adults, we would ask that you would wear a mask. Um, which leads me to say, children do not have to wear a mask. We are not requiring um, any child to wear a mask. And we will come back to that. But parents, um, we would appreciate at drop-offs and pickups if you would please wear a mask. So our infants, ones and twos, will be dropped off at the front door. Threes, fours, and fives will all drop off in car line like always. Um, and there will be a teacher um, out there to get them and bring them into the building where we will take them straight to their classroom. They will not sit in the hall this year. We will take them straight to their classroom. If you have a two-year-old and a four-year-old, for now, we need you to do both drop-offs. So you can go through the car line and drop off the big kid first and then park and bring your two-year-old up, or you can park and bring your two-year-old and then jump in car line. I know it's unique and it's probably not the most convenient, but it is the safest way that we know how to get everyone into the building um, and we are utilizing every extra adult that we have to help us safely get those kids in. So until further notice, if you would please um, use both methods if you have um, multiple children in different age brackets. After 9.15, um, the front door will be locked and there will not be anybody to let you in. So if you drop off after 915, you'll need to come around to the back door under the breezeway and ring the bell. And um, we will be happy to take your child to their class. Pickup is going to run much the same way. Children in the threes, fours, and fives, they are going to pick up through car line. Um, you're going to be given a car line number. Um, if you'll have that displayed, the very best, most helpful thing that you can do for us is get a hanger, like the little boy's clothes hangers, clip your number to it, and hang it on your rear view mirror. When, what happens is when you put it in your front dash, it leans back, and the sun is shining, and I'm short, and I can't see your number. So if you would please hang it from your rear view mirror, that would be, you would be my favorite person ever. Thank you so much. Um, we will begin dismissal um, on the first day using Carline, um, and we will begin at 1145. Um, if you're someone else is picking up your child that doesn't have the number, um, or other than yourself, if you would call um, or text or email um, and let me know, and that is no problem, if they're not on your list of um, appropriate or approved, excuse me, approved people to pick up, um, they'll need to have your ID. And if I've heard from you, that is no problem. Um, and when you exit Carline, if you would please turn right on E Avenue, Mr. Ricky will be out there guiding you, but it just helps when you try to turn left. It blocks up our line and it's really hard to see. So if you would exit to the right um, from Carline, that would be helpful. The ones and twos, you will pick up the exact same way. You will come to the front glass door. Your child's teacher or assistant will bring them to you, and then you can go back to your car. You do not even need to come in the building. Again, if you have multiple children, it will be the same situation. My recommendation is pick up your one or two-year-old first, because by the time you get them and get back to your car, the other car line is probably going to be very short. Um, so we would ask for you to do um, both pick up methods. If you are picking up in car line, we would also still ask you to wear a mask um, since our teachers are getting close and putting um, their heads in your cars and things like that just out of an abundance of caution and kindness. Please wear your mask. Um, they will have their mask on as well to protect you. Um, late fees will be applied um, after 12 p.m. if any child is not picked up. All right, absences and closings. Um, we cannot give you refunds if your child's absent for a trip or an illness or anything like that. Um, this year, we are trying to follow Lexington too, as always. Um, however, 
Um, we are going to send you our yearly calendar because there's just so many unknowns and everything just feels a little up in the air. So we're going to send you our yearly calendar, but we will still trust Lexington 2's judgment regarding weather. Um, this is again why it's so important for you to make sure you're getting the remind text and the emails um, because I'm going to notify you as often as possible with any changes, um, upcoming in-service days, vacations, closings, anything like that. Um, and we do not make up days missed for inclement weather. The curriculum we will be using um, is Zoophonics. Um, for our two-year-olds through our kindergartners. It's an early literacy awareness that's lots of fun. Um, it's also used in several school districts in kindergarten and first grade. So when our children leave here, um, they have already been exposed to um, the same curriculum and they are fully prepared for their next step. Um, a little more information about that. Um, and I know this is small on your screen, so do not worry. We are sending you all this information because I am struggling to see the words as well. Um, we use handwriting without tears. Um, we do Bible in the classroom every day. We use the Gospel Project, um, and we combine the Jesus Storybook Bible, and we really want our kids to see the full picture of the Gospel. We don't want them to just know isolated stories. We want them to see the big picture of who God is, how he sent Jesus, why he sent Jesus, and what that means for their life. So every day we open the Word of God and give these children as much as we can and that their little hearts and minds will soak up. Our ones and two-year-olds have their own curriculum based on what's developmentally appropriate, and um, your child's teacher will be giving you more in an overview format um, for those classes. All right, so COVID precautions. So fun. All right, make sure I'm on the same page. All right, so here's a few things we're doing. Let me preface this to say, we have read a lot. Um, we have talked with lots of different professionals, pediatricians, nurses. Um, we have reached out and had great conversations with employees from the CDC and from DHEC. We've asked them to look at what we're doing and we've had excellent feedback and confirmation that these are great um, practices and guidelines um, to operate in a safe manner. So here's a couple of things that we are going to be doing knowing all are subject to change and until further notice. Um, so all staff will wear masks or face shields during drop-off or pickup times, in the hallways, in the common areas, and any time that social distancing cannot be practiced. We will not be requiring children to wear masks. We also want our children to feel warm and welcome, and we want them to see their teachers smiling. So that is why we're saying in the classroom, when the teacher can social distance, um, they do not have to wear their mask, and they also have face shields so that they can see their smiles. But when they cannot have a safe distance or if they're serving food or anything like that, um, our staff will wear a mask. And we have some staff that want to wear a mask the entire time anyways, um, and we are great with that. That is perfectly fine. For now, we cannot allow book bags in the building. Um, so, what we are saying is, if you have an infant, a one-year-old or a two-year-old, when you come meet the teacher or on the first day, please send a pack of diapers or a pack of pull-ups with their name on it, and everybody bring their clothes in a Ziploc bag with their name on it in Sharpie. Um, we have bags in the classroom, and we will leave it there. The reason for no book bags is just to cut down on what goes home, what comes back, and just any possible way to limit germs. Babies, you may bring a diaper bag. We completely understand that. Um, but ones and up, um, we will not be doing book bags right now. Anything that we send, we will send home um, in a Ziploc bag or in a paper clip, and it doesn't need to come back. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about that or something extra that you need to leave here, no worries. Just reach out to me, um, and we will work with you for sure on that. Um, children are only going to interact with the kids in their class. Now, let me say we have limited class size. Um, and I'm sorry, that just reminds me, going back um, to tuition for just a minute. Um, we sent a letter in July about tuition, um, and we will be raising tuition by $10 a month. That is to cover the extra cleaning fees um, and cost of the added cleaning times. 
and also because we have taken our classes of 12 and 10 down to six, eight, nine kids. Um, our largest class right now is 10. Um, and so that is the reason for the $10 tuition, um, which we referenced in the um, July letter that would be between 10 and $20, I believe. But that is honestly just to cover our cleaning um, and to compensate for taking in smaller numbers um, of children. Um, so our kids will only interact with their class. So what that means is, in the past, we might have two classes on the playground at the same time, or all the four-year-olds might um, do a lesson together in the fellowship hall, or um, they would go to music together. So right now, until further notice, uh, we will have classes doing everything on their own in their space. And that is because if we have someone to become sick, we know exactly where they've been, exactly who they've been in contact with, and we don't have a school-wide issue, but we can focus on just that small class. Um, so classes will not interact right now. Um, the classrooms, the bathrooms, and common areas, um, the hallways, the playground, things like that, will be cleaned at least three times a day. Um, probably, I can almost guarantee you more, but we are guaranteeing three times a day. Um, we have hand sanitizer stations located throughout the building as well as in every classroom. So children have access and teachers have access to hand sanitizer. Um, we also strongly encourage washing your hands with just good old soap and water. Um, so they will do that several times a day as well. And parents, I did reference this earlier, um, parents cannot or in the building um, until further notice. If you have a child, if a child here becomes sick, we have a new health room, um, and it is located in the back, right at the back door. So if your child is sick, we will take them to the health room, um, and we will wait there for you to come pick them up. You can pull right up under the breezeway, and we will bring them to your car. All right, if a child, and this is um, regarding if a child um, or a teacher becomes sick, if a child or a teacher in the class is confirmed with a positive test to have COVID-19, that class will quarantine for 14 days. The room will be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized three times during this period. I'm already seeing some information where maybe it's gone from 14 to 10 days. We will keep monitoring that. But I believe right this moment it is 14 days. So if the teacher or the child in that class were to test positive, we would notify you and that class would not meet for 14 days. If a family member of a child or a teacher were to test positive for COVID, that child or teacher would stay out for the 14 days. We would notify the families, but we will not close that classroom. We will keep that classroom open unless it is within the class that is confirmed. But if it is a family member or close contact, that person will stay out, but the classroom will remain open. Um, and again, all of these are subject to change as the CDC and DHEC continue to monitor, monitor and update protocol, which feels like about every 15 minutes. All right, um, I would say any questions, but y'all can't ask me questions, but please text me or email me um, any questions that you are thinking of right now. Um, we will continue to script fundraiser. We'll be sending that home if you shop somewhere. This is one way that just kind of helps us get the extras. Um, our tuition covers our payroll. Um, and so we do these um, fundraisers that help us get new equipment or materials and supplies, things like that. Um, so script is basically you buy a gift card. We get a percentage and you get the amount of gift card that you bought. So if you know you're gonna go to Walmart, you buy a $50 Walmart gift card, um, we get a percentage of that, you get your $50 Walmart card, um, and it's a win-win for everybody. Um, so we'll send much more information about that. Um, special areas. So making classes smaller means that we had to add some classes. So several of our special area teachers are now in different areas. Um, so at this time, we will not have the children going to special areas. Everything will be done in the classroom. So they will do art in their classroom. They will um, do fun fitness within their class with their classroom teacher. 
Um, we will not be singing very much at first um, unless we can spread out or go outside. Um, but, um, and library on the cart will hopefully start soon once we get started. If things in, um, improve a little bit, we'll go around. We'll put library books on the cart because they love getting those library books. So hopefully that will be added very soon. If you have not signed up for Early Bird, I need you to do that. Um, we're going to talk about Early Bird in just a minute. I think it's coming up on another slide. Um, we talked about going to Holland Avenue. All right, here's Early Bird. A little change to Early Bird because of parents coming in the building. We will not begin Early Bird until the next Monday. So Early Bird will start Monday, um, September the 14th. We need to make sure we've gotten all of our procedures in place, that what we think was going to work was actually working, and then we will start Early Bird. Because of our staff being in all these different places, um, Early Bird is going to look a little different. We will have times that we come to the front door to get the Early Bird students. So you'll see those times listed. There's an 8 o'clock, an 8.15, and an 8.30. So if you're doing early bird, you'll come wait at the front glass door, and at 8 o'clock, all of our early bird teachers will come, get your children, and take them to their early bird class. At 8.15, a group of us will come, get who's there at 8.15, and take them to their early bird class. Same thing for 8.30. We just don't have extra staff to constantly keep opening the door during that 8 o'clock hour um, and getting the kids where they need to go. So this was the best fit to safely get all the children in. So notice those times, and whatever time you need to be at work, make sure you're aware. 8 o'clock, 8.15, and 8.30 will be the times that we open the doors um, and get your children for early burn. All right. So I know that was a lot of information and maybe a lot of changes. Um, we have spent many, many, many hours praying and thinking and planning um, and we cannot wait. And we thank you for your patience. It is going to be a fantastic year. There's nothing I look forward to more than those little people coming in that door. And it's going to be fantastic. A super thing that you'll notice, we got all new floors and new paint um, just a few weeks ago to help us with cleaning the, um, the building and keeping things sanitized. So our little ones downstairs have all new floor and paint. Um, upstairs has all new paint and we anticipate doing the floors um, over Christmas break. So we are excited. Um, just a reminder on Thursday, September 3rd is Meet the Teacher. If you have not received a postcard with your child's teacher um, or their Meet the Teacher time, feel free to email or text me and let me know. We'll get you that information. Our staff comes back um, to the building this Thursday. Um, getting ready to set up their classrooms and ready to meet all of you. So again, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Um, and this will still be online. You can view this um, anytime you want to come back and view it. Um, or if you have any questions, reach out. Thanks so much, and we'll see you very soon.